Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to simulate a driver circuit in Proteus Simulator. So let's get started. Uh, I'll create a new project here and name it Driver Circuit. Next, and here are the different templates. Uh, leave it depart, uh, depart and then no need to create PCB because I'm looking for uh, simulation. Similarly, no firmware. Next and finish. So I have created a new project, and next I'll add the device that I'm going to use uh, here. So I'll press this P. That's for place devices. And starting with the MOSFET that I'm going to use. IRF830. So here you can see it's a, a 500 volt 4.5 ampere MOSFET. So I just double click it and you can see it's, it's been added here. Next, I'll, use, uh, I'll add the uh, driver IC IR21. Uh, the, the most uh, commonly used uh, IC is IR2110. Uh, 2113 but they are not available in the library so I'll go for IR2101 and I'll just double click and then I'll add the um, capacitor first I'll need capacitor for bootstrapping I'll add a capacitor I can choose a value of 4.7 I'll change it to laser uh, while, while uh, making connection and uh, working in the editor window I, I can change it there uh, then I'll add uh, resistor add, ext uh, add, uh, add in the uh, gate tool so yeah I'm going to use a uh, And I'll add a 10 ohm resistor and again uh, it's not fixed I can change it uh, later and then what else do I need is a diode uh, a boots uh, that's again for the bootstrap circuit um, please notice that uh, since I am looking to simulate my circuit uh, notice here that for example, a, a device I have to, I have selected here. If it says that there is no simulation model, then you you must not add that particular uh, device because it's it's not going to work in the simulation. It's just a simple, uh, probably with a PCB like like this one. Uh, it is uh, diode. It has a symbol. It has a footprint here, but uh, there is no simulation model. So if you add it to your simulation. Uh, it's of no use. So make sure that uh, the diode that you are going to add or any other device that you are going to add to your circuit, uh, it should have a simulation model. Okay. So let me add a fast switching diode. Okay. Okay. Fast switching diode. Right. And again. Okay, but make sure that uh, it has the spice mod uh, uh, simulation mod. So I'm going to add this guy to my uh, simulation. This one. Okay. So uh, now, now I have the required components. And I can I can start uh, building my circuit here in the editor window. Okay, zoom to view the entire sheet, and I'll start first. Uh, I'll add the MOSFETs. I'll add the first MOSFET here, and then I'll have the other one here. Right, and I'll connect them. The source of the first one to the drain of the second. 
and I, I'll add the power terminals. Here is the power. For example, I'm using a 200 volt source, and then I'll have a jump here. Okay, so I, I forgot to add uh, an inductor. I'll add an inductor here. So here's an inductor. And let me assign it a value. I'll just double click and let me set the value to 500 micro. And then I have this capacitor. You can use the negative or uh, the, the minus or the plus sign on your keyboard uh, on the, num uh, the numeric pad to rotate uh, these components. So I can uh, so 60 micro pad. So I, I'll just write 60 U and that means 60 micro. Similarly, here is 500 U and that means 500 micro. Uh, I'll connect them here and again I need a ground. Right, and now I'll add the one of the resistor here. That will act as a load. And if, you, if you're familiar with the uh, polytronic circuits, it's, uh, it's a synchronous buck converter, in fact. Okay, it's with a LC filter, L1 and C1 become the LC filter. And this is, the, this is your load, you can set it to, let's see, 60 R, which means 60 ohm. And that, that's, the, that's our circuit. This is the power circuit that we are going to drive. But uh, to drive these MOSFETs, we need a driver circuit. So for driver circuit, I have added this uh, driver IC, IR2101. This is from International Rectifier. Just click it. Click again. And here you can see the shadow. Just put it somewhere. Okay. Now, uh, here we can add the power. And the power of uh, the VCC is 10 volt. I'm going to type plus 10. Similarly, the ground terminal connects to this COM pin. Right. Now, uh, the LO connects to the um, to the gate of the low side MOSFET. Uh, but for that, we need a um, resistor. I need to add this resistor here, 10 ohm resistor here. I'll just connect this to the output of the low side. Okay, that's fine. Now the output uh, of the high side, the high side output is this HO. So again, I need to add a resistor here. I'm going to connect this here and Connect the HO over here. All right, so that, that, that's that's the connection that's driving. Uh, we have connected uh, the gate of uh, high side and the gate of low side MOSFET to the driver. Okay, but the high side is, uh, as you can see, the high side, uh, the high side. We need to add a bootstrap circuit. For the bootstrap circuit is a simple circuit. We need, for that, we need a capacitor, and the capacitor is need to connect this capacitor. Between the let me, let me pause connection. We need to connect this capacitor between VB and this VS. So, so 
So this is this is how we, we need to connect a uh, capacitor, bootstrap capacitor, and in addition to that, we need a diode. And this is the diode. We need to connect it between the VCC and this VB. So this is our bootstrap circuit. And the, the other thing we need to do is to connect this VS to the source of high side, this Q1. Okay, I'm calling this Q1 as the high side and calling this Q2 as the low side also. So now we have connected uh, the uh, power circuit are the MOSFETs with the driver but the logic signal that that drives the MOSFET uh, now we need to apply that so for that we need to uh, use this option generator mode and here we can use this pulse and we zoom in a bit and then we, we can connect here here uh, we have the option different we will use this pulse option uh, we can use sign different we can generate different kind of signal but here we are using a square kind of wave and the low value of this logic signal will be zero and the high we are going to set it to five volt all right the pulse width is going to be 50 percent of the um, time period. So I'm going to set here 1000 as the uh, I'm going to set here 1000 as the frequency of this uh, square wave, and uh, the, the, this this sets the uh, switching frequency. Okay, so with that uh, setting. I'll press OK and now I'll add another one for the high side input. Here's the high side input. I'm going to connect it here and here's, uh, here's a thing we need to consider that both of these, uh, these MOSFET must not uh, turn on at the same time. By that, uh, I mean that if this one is on, this this one must be off and if this one uh, is off uh, what I mean is both should not be turned on uh, at the same time otherwise there will be a short circuit between the uh, VCC and the power, this power rail and the ground so we should avoid that but that the both signals should be a shifted version of each other so you can see that this one starts at zero second so other, the other one will have a, the same settings first, like 0 for logic 0 for 0 volt, 5 volt for logic 1, and similarly the frequency 1000. But here you can see that the uh, if 1000 is the uh, is the switching frequency. So that makes the period and period of uh, this waveform is going to be uh, 0 0.001. Period of this becomes 0 0.001, and we need to shift uh, the second wave uh, waveform in, uh, by such an interval that when one guy is on, when one of the waveform is uh, at its logic one, the other should be zero. So I'll go and half that interval and I'll go for 0 0.005 and uh, even a little bit more than that so they, they not uh, uh, they, they, they should not undergo the transition at the same time maybe 0 0.05 and then I'll, I'll set the we ratio to 35 percent so that the width of the uh, wave uh, the width of the logic signal for the high side is relatively low than the low side so uh, we have now connected a, uh, all the terminals that were required and now what we can do is to connect the uh, scope 
we can now connect the screw and I'll show you here the high side the low side and then the output of the low side from the driver okay the, 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 the on the left is the input to the driver and on the right is the output from the driver and then we will have a drain to source signal from uh, this uh, from this point of uh, this low side MOSFET so uh, once I have connected everything I will just save and then I will run my simulation so lots of things happening here let me see okay channel 1 is seems to me okay channel D I can change this uh, Woods per division, and then on the C, uh, that's all that's also seems okay. And in addition to that, I'll just vertically shift the position, and then I'll have okay. So mm, that seems to me uh, the channel. The, in the yellow we have connected on the yellow we have connected the low side signal and on the okay what's happening here is that the the, the yellow the yellow is going high and at the same time this blue is going low so we should avoid that and for that I should reduce this delay from 5, 5, 2, let's say 5, 2 and try it again so, oops, it is, it's doing it again uh, where is 2 connected, 2 is connected, ok that's the low side and ok, high side is connected uh, that means that the, the delay should be a little bit more it should be a little bit more than that. Okay, so, so to avoid this crossover here, this point. So I'm going to change it to somewhere 551 microsecond, and that's okay. And the other thing I'm going to do is uh, change change it to a higher value because my switching frequency is lower and uh, uh, at the very moment I'm not going to uh, discuss like uh, how with change in frequency the uh, phase shift is going to change so uh, I'll just uh, set uh, the uh, inductance I'll set it to a higher value let's say 1000 10,000 micro Okay, that's not, that's not a smart value, but to show you the how the circuit is going to work, so I'll just uh, simulate it again, and here comes the waveforms. Okay, so the first one is the high side logic signal. The second one is the low side logic signal, and then the uh, output of the low side the driver output of from the low side and then the drain to source signal uh, of the low side MOSFET and now you can just right click print and use this PDF yeah before that you can uh, make some settings if you want for example you can set a white background you can make mm, changes like that uh, you can have the black and white and then you can print choose PDF and print it so you can save this in PDF form anywhere for example your desktop just name it some whatever stop simulation you can go ahead and check it out Uh, 
Okay, so this is your uh, track from the Proteus, and that's much cleaner. And if you want it to be uh, colored, you want a colored output, you can uh, make those changes here from the setup. Right click setup and don't make it. You, you can also change the colors of each uh, channel, then set OK. Now print again, TDF, and I'll just go overwrite the previous. Oh. And let me Okay, so here comes the uh, new waveform and uh, that's colored. Alright, so with that said, that's it. You can use the, this uh, procedure to simulate your drive circuit. Okay, thank you.